you join us on this sunny day in the garden. I have got my brother Reese with me today and he just rang me some plants. And the thing is, we both saw this advert on Facebook. It was this like, you know, on Facebook Marketplace, they do these like ads and this person was giving away free plants. So I messaged her at, what was it? It was like 40 past, was it 40? I messaged 40. her at 40 past saying, can I have these free plants? I had no reply. Reese messaged her at 41, yep. <laughs> one minute later, and she replies to him and goes, yeah, they're still available. <laughs> so we did get the plants in the end, but it was just weird how like she replied to him before me. But then also that's not like the strangest bit, because after Reese got her address and was like literally on the way to pick him up, weren't you? Right. Were you on the way? When yeah. you're on the yeah, yeah. yeah. You were literally he was on the way to get the plants and then she messages me back <laughs> saying, Yeah, they're still available, even though he was like almost there. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, we got the plants. I'll give you a little bit of a look at them actually. Here are the little plants that he collected. So there is loads. It's all of these in this crate, which she actually gave you as well, didn't she? Yeah, yeah. The crate and all these plants and then all these plants. So I'm going to keep some and then Reese is going to give some to Kira. So this is what I've like kept. These are mostly outdoor plants. So I have got some butterfly. They're called butterfly bushes. Those are butterfly bushes. I've got a couple raspberry canes, a honeysuckle sunflowers and these are just some like money plants which go indoors and i even got like a mi little mini um willow tree so they were all free uh, which is perfect because as you know i'm redoing the garden at the minute and then i went to b&q earlier and i bought these actually i bought this little plant here because i went around nanny's yesterday and i saw she had this plant in her garden though hers is a lot bigger but i absolutely loved it it was full like hers were really like massive flowers but these tiny little blue flowers they look really pretty so i got one of those and then i also got this blueberry plant which was five pounds but it was half price so like kind of two pound fifty but then at the till it didn't go free right and there was like a discount but it didn't work it was a bit confusing but in the end i managed to get that for a pound so that's the plant update now currently reese is helping me dig this massive hole i was helping a little bit i've just stopped to film this it's not just him dug this massive hole though he did do most of the hole i have to say but we're digging this massive hole because i dug up this willow tree not willow tree uh bamboo plant dug up this bamboo plant a couple of weeks ago because it was over there but it was kind of dying a little bit so i'm going to move it over here but i've been like i can't do it it's really tough so I was going to get dad to help me, but he's gone away. So Reese has come around and Reese is helping me dig a massive hole. Well, it was a team effort, but now Reese has took over. But I think we're nearly there. <laughs> if you push, I'll pull. Actually, it's not that bad. No. Oh, it makes it. Oh. <laughs> you were right. <laughs> I think I got a bit of blood in my mouth. You're gonna have a lot of excess um mud. Yes. <laughs> I'm coming around. The bamboo plant is in the ground. Ta-da! Though I was just saying to Reese, it looks a lot smaller now it's in the ground, but I think that's because the giant piece of mud is under there. But hopefully it'll be happier here because as you can see there's a lot of brown bits, but still alive, still some green, so hopefully it likes it there, because these plants do, so. And then next up we're gonna build this. This is, what's it called? Like, it begins with an O. Like, obster, obster, obsteleresque? No, I'm probably saying that completely wrong. But it's one of those things that you kind of, like, climbing roses or sweet peas or, like, anything. They kind of climb up it. It's like one of those big 3D triangle things. The only problem is, I have all of the pieces. I have all of the screws. But what I don't have is the instructions. <laughs> Also, I know I haven't shown on the vlog yet. My nails. I got my nails done the other day and they all look like oranges, look. So I've got some little mini oranges and like an orange slice and they look so cute. Look at those. Right. Oh. This is starting to make sense now. It's just like Lego. Like. <laughs> <laughs> right. Hmm. <clears throat> it actually does make more sense now. Okay. Out of it. Went 
Okay, so pretty good, pretty good. Is that all of them? One more. One more, one more for Netherlands. I was literally, I was literally then going to You know what, that. I don't even really know where that's from. I thought it was, I thought it was Netherlands. <laughs> I don't even really know where that one more Canetto is from. I, 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 it's an advert for Canetto. Oh, is it? What else do you think it's from? I don't really know. <laughs> one more Canetto. What do you think it's from? I thought it might have been like a reference to a movie. Because like they call something the Canetto Trilogy. No, but I, I think know. it's literally for the Canetto advert. That so, makes sense. One more Canetto. <laughs> Don't know the lines after that. Give it to me. Give it to me. Don't care if you want it. There's only one left and it's for me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't makes know. sense. I don't even like Canettos. <laughs> Literally up there for a single ball. I make, I make the journey back around to get the next one. Alright, it gives me time to tighten it up, to be honest. <laughs> And here you have one climbing arch thing. Can't remember the name, but we've done it. Yay. We have just come out for a little walk at Blickling. This is Blickling Hall. I don't know if it's Blickling Hall or Blickling Hall Estate. You can see it there in the background. I have Max with me and Nanny's over here. And we're just going on the lake walk, it's called. There is a lake walk and a forest walk. Max isn't allowed in this bit here. This is the main like Blickling Hall with like the walled garden and like the um, kind of like the nice flowers and things like that. But um, although dogs aren't allowed in the actual main building, they are allowed in the lake walk and the forest walk. Today we've chosen the lake walk and it is a lot longer than we initially planned. It is nice though. We've been walking through like a load of trees and you even saw some sheep, didn't you, Max? Did you see sheep? He saw sheep. I don't think he's ever been that close to a sheep before. And it wasn't like kind of behind a fence. Like the sheep are just loose, like roaming around. But he didn't seem too bothered by them. He just kind of stopped and he was looking at them like, hmm. And then you just wanted to leave, didn't you? Yeah. And we have eventually, how long do you think we've been walking, Nanny? Long time. A good while. A good while. <laughs> but we have just found the lake. Is it all that you'd hoped for? <laughs> Here's a little better look at the lake. Max is very excited for this walk. He is trying to pull me everywhere, aren't you? But here is the nice little lake. It's very sunny. It was meant to be more cloudy than this today, I think, but now it's really sunny. So it is a little bit chilly with the wind. We have entered a little kind of foresty area of the... Oh, Nanny, look! Nanny, look! Oh. There's a little bit. There's a little walk out into the lake. Max, you better not jump in. <laughs> Max, don't you jump in this water. <laughs> I don't know, he's never swam before, but if he jumps in, we'll soon find out. <laughs> Max, what do you think? What do you think of the water? not bothered. <laughs> Here's a little look of what you can see from this little platform. Right over there in the distance you can see the house. I don't know if you can see it on camera. And then just a lot of water. But let's carry on our little walk shall we? Come on monkey. <laughs> Up the big hill. Can you make it? Come on. Oh. Yay! Did it. <laughs> Can you see that sun over there? Right over there. Oh, I think he just ducked his head in the water. <laughs> we are almost at the halfway point. Almost. There is the halfway point. Come, Max. We are almost 
at the halfway point it has been a lot longer than i initially thought it would be i thought it would take us maybe like an hour to get around the lake but i think it's taken us a lot longer not around the actual lake part that's probably going to be like an hour or less but that foresty bit first oh, i'm gonna be exhausted when i get back approaching yet another gate <laughs> Look how close we are to the water here. You could literally jump in the water from here. Yeah. Max, don't you get any ideas? <laughs> don't you get any ideas? He's not interested. He'd rather walk the forest side than the lake side, look. We can finally see the house again. <laughs> oh, gonna sleep well tonight. No, the other way, Nanny. This way? No, you've got to, you've got to. Oh, I've got... Facing me. What have I got to look? Here. No, no, the other way. I've got to look here. Yeah, do you see what you're going to do? You do the other way up. Long ways. Like that. Yeah, that's it. I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> Are they big fish or tiny sharks? <laughs> what do you think it is? It's me. You think it's a fish? Fish. Well, do you fish in there, don't you? We have just come out to a restaurant called Cosmos. It's like um, an all-you-can-eat buffet type thing, and you can get like all Papa, food. Papa, Papa, Papa. Yeah, we came out for Reese's yeah. birthday. Here's the birthday boy, and we are just gonna have. Well, we've already had it. I just forgot to film the intro, but I had chips and. What's that? I, I had beep, rice. Beep, and, well, you'll see it in the clip in a minute. And I've also beep, beep, got this chocolate brownie. Mmm, vegan, <laughs> vegan chocolate brownie. So this is my meal. I have got some sweet corn, chips, wedges, a bit of rice under there, and this like mm. vegan chicken. That's so good. it's a very beige meal, isn't it? But I absolutely love it. Beige food is the best, right? But yeah, ta-da. <laughs> Happy birthday! <laughs> Happy birthday to you! <laughs> Happy birthday! <laughs> Been in home base and got a really nice plant but on to that in a minute 
So I walk into home base and they have the reduced declay plants, which I always look at first because I love getting like the cheaper plants and kind of bringing them back to life sort of thing. So I'm over at the reduced declay plant sale, okay? And I'm looking at these hydrangeas, which is a flower that I've got in the end. But I was looking there, there was about three or four plants there. And I was looking between them all to see which was like the best of like the worst, if you understand what I mean, because they're all reduced for a reason, right? And I was about to pick up this plant and the lady, this random lady, just kind of swoops in, like she kind of swoops in like right next to me and grabs the plant as I'm about to go get it. Like I'm looking at it, I'm about to pick it up and she swoops in and grabs this plant okay that's bad enough someone swooping in and stealing a plant that i'm obviously looking at but the worst thing is she then puts it in the trolley which uh, i'm assuming maybe husband or whoever is with her so this woman says she turns to this person with her she goes guard this with your life okay she's just swooped in and stole the plant that i'm very clearly about to pick up and like looking at she gives it to this person and says, guard it with your life. Don't take your eyes off of it. Like I'm about to steal the plant that she stole from me. Though I was tempted, but I didn't. I didn't. But then I was kind of annoyed. I got a plant anyway. It was like the worst. It was like worse than her one that she got. Because she stole the nicer one. And then goes, guard your life with it. But anyway, so I carried on around the store and we just so happened to pass by. There's a lady that works there in the plant section at home base and she is always really nice to us. And I just happened to be walking past her at the time and we always say hi in that. And she's like, oh, you've got one of the um, hydrangea plants. She says, I knew they'd go quickly. And I just kind of said as a comment, I was like, oh, yeah. I, I um, And I just kind of said as a comment, like, Oh yeah, like um, I was, I really like these plants. These are one of my favourite plants. I love hydrangeas. And I says, um, but this lady kind of swooped in and stole the best one. And then she turns to me and she's like, here, let me take this plant. And she took away the plant I was holding. And she has a, I'm going to get you a better one. <laughs> and I looked around the store and then I got back to the till. She said she was going to leave it at the till for me. And when I got at the till, she had got a, like a nicer plant that wasn't even in the sale like it is still like going off a little bit but she got me an even nicer plant that wasn't in the sale in the first place and she's put it at the same price as it was so in the end i got the nice plant i've got a nice healthy plant so that was really nice but let me show you here is my little hydrangea plantlet and the other one that i had was like literally all of it was like brown and kind of starting to die and this one it's still big like blue blooms and it's beautiful so i guess the moral of the story is don't swoop in and steal a plant that someone's obviously looking at because in the end that person will get the nicer blooms anyway so i'm happy with that i got that one and then i've also got this i found this in the sale it's a fuchsia tree it's quite small a little fuchsia bush and then i've also little brother really wanted this one i wasn't going to get this one but he wouldn't put it back down on the shelf and i thought okay why not it's got these tiny little red, pink and white flowers on it. So I've got that as well. I'm not sure what it is though. But yeah, got a nice little reduced plant sale haul. I think that was about £2. The fuchsia was 3 and this was 7 So yeah, little plant haul. pretty nanny's flowers are i just wanted to show you while i'm around here because she has such lovely flowers look so here's a peonies these are one of my favorite flowers if not my favorite flower ever is peonies they smell absolutely amazing and if you could smell it right now you would agree and then look at this giant lavender bush that's yet to bloom and are these lupins look at these they're massive look at all these flowers they're so pretty
I got a couple new bits in home sense today. So what I'm basically trying to do is I have a load of like metal oven trays at the minute and they're starting to get a bit old and a bit like, you know where this bits kind of start to peel off a little bit? So what I'm doing is I'm replacing all of my metal tins with ceramic ones. Now I haven't found any big ones yet, but I did find a couple of really nice ones in home sense. So this is the first one. It's this square one, and then on the side, it has this really cute little lemon pattern. Let me show you this way. It has this cute little lemons and a little flower on it. So this is kind of like a decent sized square. And then I also got this one, which is really cute. This is like a little rectangle, and it's got like lemons in it again. It's so cute. I'm just absolutely loving all of the fruit themed stuff at the minute, like strawberries, lemons, oranges, just anything fruit themed, I'm seeing really attracted to lately. But yeah, here's my two little couple of couple of new um, ceramic dishes. I am at the car boot this morning. It is really, really busy and I'm actually here quite late. Like most of the stuff like arrives at like, I think they get here at like six, seven, and it's now about 10 o'clock and it's still absolutely packed and it's a massive car boot today. So I'm gonna try and show you around some of the stalls. I might not show you everything because I'm a bit camera shy when there's a lot of people around, but I've got my disguise on, my glasses. This, see, see who I am? Disguise. <laughs> well, helps a little bit. Let's go look. a little bit of an ending to this vlog I, I feel like I always forget to end these weekly vlogs so I'm gonna try and get better at that but please like the video I hear it helps my channel out so that would be amazing and subscribe to see more videos but for now take care and I will see you in the next one bye